All right, just to show how I did the uh, picture. I do have some videos that I'll throw into this of me actually doing the drawing and stuff like that. I didn't do it from the start. I thought about it after I'd already started. So uh, here is the color layer uh, without the original sketch. And then I'll show you. Let's see. Turn off the color. Turn off the gray scale layer, which is the shadow. And just turn on the sketch layer, and there's the sketch layer. And how I do that is um, just use kind of a grid, uh, just use a grid method. It gets me, you know, close enough to see where all the, you know, uh, eyes and nose and mouth and everything go. So it helps out a lot. Uh, I've been doing that for years. I'll do it sometimes if I'm really trying to get dead on with the accuracy. If it's not like a caricature, if it's more of a portrait. Uh, but if it's a caricature or if I'm just kind of doing it loose, I won't use a grid method. Um, but yeah, that's what the um, sketch looks like. Let's zoom in on that a little bit so you can see. So it's all done with uh, Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro. It's kind of light. I sketch really light, but then I just uh, I double up the layers if it needs to be darker. So now you can really kind of see a lot more of the detail and stuff. A lot more of the pencil sketch. And some of the stuff I blur, and some of the stuff I leave uh, looking, you know, like a like a pencil, because I just like that effect. I'll be a real. Um, uh, try to do uh, a more realistic look and uh, it'll end up looking more like a photograph because I'll blur everything except for some of the some of the details and stuff but so there's that layer which is the uh, sketch layer I'll turn that off and then underneath the sketch layer I do um, shading layer it does all the shadows and stuff you see there's lots of pencil marks and all that stuff and that's kind of what I wanted. Some of the stuff's blurred, some of it's not. But that's what I was after on that. And also you can, uh, there's a color layer. Um, and then whenever you put it all together, you know, you got something like that. Add some more shadows into it. Um, add a little bit more detail on the top layer which is the sketch layer and then you get it you know this is probably the sixth attempt that I've had doing something on the iPad so I'm getting better with it um, I'm a traditional artist also but I've been doing graphic design stuff for years now getting started on the iPad Pro so many more options uh, for art so yeah that's uh, how it was created just in case anybody was wondering if I actually drew this or not. Because there's, you know, a lot of people that think that it could be just a filter on a photograph and things like that. And I get that. But, no, it was about 20 hours worth.